Oh, you've come over again today, I see. It's nice to see you again. Long time no see, Jane. We just came over because there is something that we wanted to give you. That's all. Come in. You're always welcome here. You know that. Have you had dinner? Mom said that she was going to make something really delicious today, you know. It's only a flying visit today. We don't really have time to stay for dinner. Why? What are you doing? Mom said that she was making something special and wants me to go to the shops to get ingredients and everything. I thought that's why you'd popped in, if I'm honest. Was that not it? No, of course not. Well, we don't really have any plans later, do we? Maybe we could just stay here for dinner? Great! Mark, you can help me with the shopping later, can't you? I have a lot to buy, you see. I don't know exactly what Mom's planning to make, but she's definitely going all out with the cooking. That's the only reason that you wanted us to stay, wasn't it? You mustn't try to use Mark all the time like that. It's not fair. Oh, I'm sure he doesn't mind. I only want him to help me with a few bags anyway. It's not like I'm asking him to buy it all or anything. No, no, it's fine, honestly. Let's all go to the shops to get the ingredients that Mom needs for dinner then. That'll be fine, won't it, Liz? You've agreed to it, Mark! Why are you always trying to push Mark around like this and make him do things for you? Does it feel good pushing someone around when they're so much older than you or something? It's fine. It's like she's my real little sister. I quite enjoy it, actually. I'm pleased that she treats me like family already. It feels really good being bossed around by my new little sister. See? It's only you getting annoyed by it, Liz. Mark said he likes it, didn't he? He couldn't exactly say he hated it, could he? Can't you just ask her for me? She's never going to tell me. Why do you always get me to ask her? You could just do it yourself, you know. If I ask her anything, she pretty much tells me to mind my own business. That's why. She even tells me to stop interfering these days as well. That's just because of the way you ask. Like you're putting pressure on her or something. You do need to tone it down a bit sometimes, you know. What do you mean, tone it down? She is my daughter, you know. All I did was ask you to ask your sister something. Why do you have to get cheeky with me like this? Stop it. And just ask her like I told you to. Why did she break up with her boyfriend anyway? She was with him for a long time and seemed to be doing fine until recently. What happened? How am I supposed to know that? She doesn't tell me anything, you know. I already have to be really careful around her because she gets mad really easily these days. Why do you keep trying to make me ask her things like this? You're her sister after all. She's more likely to tell you things than she is me. Liz is really good to you after all, isn't she? The two of you are so smart-mouthed to me all the time, but you get on really well together. What does us getting on well together have to do with anything? She's really sensitive about whatever happened with Mark. They were well into their wedding preparations when they decided to call off the engagement after all, weren't they? How could I ask her about something like that? I can't. I just can't. She doesn't want to talk about it. I'm sure she'll tell us when she's good and ready. I just need to know what happened. That's all. I'm quite worried about her dealing with all of this on her own. Something must have happened. What could possibly have happened for the two of them to call off the wedding and break up just like that when they were so in love and so far into their wedding preparations? There was only about six months left to their wedding. What on earth happened between them? Even if I asked her, she wouldn't tell me, so I don't want to make her upset like that for no reason. Mom, stop asking me to do things like that. Please. Listen, Mark, her ex-boyfriend, dated for a very long time. They originally met on a blind date and got closer and closer, ending up dating for over five years before they finally fixed a date for the wedding. To tell you the truth, Liz thought that Mark was a bit old for her since they started dating. This made him a lot older than me, too, of course but he was always kind and seemed like he was quite a fun person to be around. As they visited each other's houses regularly and knew each other's parents, we just assumed that they would get married. That was just our opinions, I guess. It seems like the two of them must have thought differently when it all came down to it. The news of their sudden breakup shook the whole family. Liz just came back home as usual and suddenly announced in a completely matter-of-fact way that they had called off the wedding. 
The whole family was so surprised that no one could say anything and just stared at her. Mom later tried to press her for more information, and Dad asked her too in a caring way, but Liz wouldn't say a thing. She didn't say anything to me either, just stroked my hair and told me that I didn't need to know what had happened, but telling me wouldn't do any good to either of us. Even if she didn't want to tell our parents what had happened, to be honest, I thought that she'd still tell me, and I was shocked when she wouldn't. If it was just something minor, I thought that she would be able to tell me, you see. She kept telling us all that it was nothing, but wouldn't tell anyone what had caused their relationship to break down like it had so close to their wedding date. I thought that there was probably a good reason as to why she didn't want to tell us what had happened, but it was very difficult to understand how a relationship that had seemed to be going so well for so long would suddenly end like that. Especially when they were so far into their wedding preparations and less than six months from their proposed wedding date. Unless there was something really wrong, that kind of thing rarely happens, does it? If it was a big problem like we feared, it would have probably been good for her to talk it through with someone at least. But she refused to say anything about it to anyone. It was really strange and quite worrying at the same time. However, regardless of my family's concerns, Liz's strange behavior didn't stop there. Liz! Why on earth did you suddenly quit your job like that? You were doing so well there. And what? You're going to move house as well. Where are you planning to go on your own like that? I've already found a place to live and somewhere else to work. You don't have to worry about me, Mom. I can look after myself, and I'm not a baby. It's about time that I moved out on my own. How can I not worry when you're behaving like this? If you just said you were changing jobs, I might understand. But it wasn't that long since you and Mark broke up, was it? What on earth is going on to make you quit your job and move house as well? Just tell me what's happening. I'm begging you. I'm bad. Uh, what on earth is going on here? The living room looks like bombs hit it. Jane, stop your sister, will you? She says she's moving out. She's packing up all her stuff. That's what this huge mess is about. What? You're moving out? Why have you suddenly decided on that? I just think I need a change, that's all. I can't live here with you and mom forever now, can I? I'm going to move out and live on my own. Liz, what happened? You break up with Mark and now you suddenly want to move out and live on your own? What on earth is all of this about? Please tell us. What's wrong? Are you fed up with mom badgering you all the time? Is that it? No, no, it's nothing like that. I just want to move out and live on my own, that's all. Hearing you talk like that confirms that there's something wrong. What's happened? Something has happened. I'm right there, aren't I? Nothing's happened and nothing's wrong. Don't you start as well. Have mom and dad rubbed off on you or something? I know that something's wrong. You're acting really strange recently. You never even thought of moving out before. Now you suddenly quit your job and decided to move out. What on earth has happened? Please tell me at least. You don't have to tell mom and dad, but surely you need someone who you can talk to about all of this. We're just worried about you. That's all. Oh, Jane, you're doing really well. Keep going. See, mom acting like that makes me want to tell you even less than I already do. Anyway, I'm off. If you find anything that I've left behind, send me a message, will you? Liz? Liz! I can't take this anymore. You have to keep on at her for her to tell us anything. It's been a whole month since Liz left home now. I really miss her living at home. It feels so quiet and lonely, just the three of us. I wonder why she left so suddenly like that. She won't even tell us where she's living or anything. Oh, who is it? Jane, it's you. Do you know if Liz is at home at all? There's something I have to talk to her about, that's all. No, she isn't, I'm afraid. She moved out quite a while ago, actually. What? Didn't anyone think of stopping her or something? Pardon? She said she wanted to move out and had all of her bags packed. How could we have stopped her? She's an adult, and it's not like she's cut contact with us or anything like that. How are you supposed to stop an adult from moving out if that's what they want to do? Still, you should have at least tried. 
She probably just moved out like that because no one stopped her. What are you talking about now, Mark? Why have you suddenly come here looking for Liz anyway? It's been over a month since you broke up, hasn't it? It seems a bit ridiculous for you to be here looking for her after all that time. Liz wasn't answering my calls. What does she expect me to do when I can't contact her? How am I supposed to know that? Has she done all of this because she didn't want to get married? Is that it? She must really hate you, not answering your calls and disappearing like this. What? I can't believe you just said that. I wondered who she took after to just suddenly call off the wedding like that without even thinking about what it would mean. You seem to be the same, so I guess it's just a family trade or something. What did you say? Something pretty bad must have happened between the two of you for her to call off the wedding, quit her job, and move out. None of that matters anymore anyway. I've come here to collect my compensation, you see. Tell Liz to come out and see me right away. I told you Liz doesn't live here anymore. She isn't here. And what did you say? Compensation? Of course she has to give me compensation. Was she just going to forget about all of that? Do you know how hard it has been? Her just suddenly canceling the wedding like that? Liz said that there was no charge for canceling the wedding venue and that she had paid the deposit anyway. She didn't go into much detail, but she did say that she'd sorted out everything that needed to be sorted. What does she need to pay you compensation for exactly? You weren't living together, and you weren't married either, were you? Do you think that if she just canceled everything and paid whatever they wanted that that was fine? You really are young, aren't you? You don't have any idea about how the world works. What do you mean? I already told my workplace and all my friends that I was getting married, hadn't I? What is she going to do about that? That's defamation of character, that is. Didn't you realize? How is that defamation of character? There was still a long time left until your wedding date and you hadn't even given out the invitations yet. That's your fault for telling everyone, isn't it? If you'd kept quiet, none of that would have been a problem. You can just tell your friends and workmates that you aren't getting married anymore, can't you? It's no big deal. Things like this happen all the time these days. No one will even take any notice. What? You have gone too far now. So what am I supposed to say? That we aren't getting married because my fiancé ran away? How can I tell everyone that? It's so embarrassing. Even if I lie, everyone's bound to find out the truth somehow in the end. I didn't even want to call off the wedding in the first place. What? Why did Liz call it off then? Oh, that's it. I could just marry you instead. <laughs> Excuse me? Marry you? Where did a ridiculous idea like that suddenly come from? You're a lot younger than her, and to be honest, I'd be happier marrying someone who is younger. People in their early 30s are all quite similar anyway, I find. Why on earth would I want to marry you? Have you lost your mind? If you don't marry me, I'm going to sue Liz for compensation. It doesn't really matter if she still lives with you or not. I can just get the money from your family, I guess. Do you want to have to pay me? What does what went on between you and Liz have to do with the rest of my family? We had nothing to do with any of it. Your family? What do you mean you have nothing to do with it? You really are talking rubbish now. Just listen to this. I'll give you three options. Either you marry me, you pay me compensation for Liz calling off the wedding like that, or your parents pay me. To be honest, I work in a top company and get paid quite a lot, so money doesn't really matter that much to me. I prefer it if you married me, really. Then I wouldn't have to go through the embarrassment of telling everyone that my marriage plans have fallen through, and I'd end up with a pretty young bride as well. What do you think? Will you marry me? I really don't understand how you can come here and say things like this to me. Why would I marry you? You're a girl, so it doesn't make any difference to me, to be honest. If I'm going to marry anyone, someone young like you would be great. If you don't want to lose out, that is. I didn't understand why Liz would change jobs and move house just because she broke up with someone. Don't you think it all looks like she's running away from something, almost? I began to doubt if what she did was completely necessary. I was able to overcome those doubts after the visit from Mark. The rudeness of how he acted when he saw me surprised me. I couldn't believe what he had said, either. He had always seemed like such a normal, kind person all the times that we'd met before, but this time he seemed different. Marry me or I'm going to seek compensation. 
I really had no idea how he could say something like that to me. Jane, have you thought about what I said? What are you doing here again? You've broken up with Liz. Stop coming here. You're really starting to annoy me now, you know. I'm only here because you haven't answered me, have you? Hurry up and put me out of my misery. If you get down on your knees, say you're sorry for not being able to find Liz, and that you'll marry me instead, I'll give up on the compensation. You're ridiculous. Do you have any evidence that shows that you are even entitled to compensation? Liz has run away like this because she doesn't want to marry you. Why are you being like this with me? Oh, you're so cute when you're angry, you know. I've already sorted everything out with my lawyer now you mention it. I told you that if you marry me instead, that I'd let you all off. Why are you refusing like this? Wouldn't it be better for you to get married early, settle down, and live comfortably as well? What on earth are you talking about? Do you think we're living 200 years in the past? A woman doesn't have to get married to be happy, you know. I'm too young to get married anyway. There are a lot of things that I want to do before settling down. You don't even want to marry me because you like me. You just want to marry me because Liz won't and because I'm younger than her. This seems like a terrible idea from the start. Why on earth would I agree to it? Stop messing around. Everyone always saying how cute and pretty you are has made you really rude and cheeky. It seems like Liz paid the reservation fee for the wedding venue herself when she canceled. Why are you still going on about compensation and me marrying you instead of her? We haven't canceled the venue. I took the money that she gave me to pay to cancel the venue, yes, but I haven't canceled it yet. What? You're saying that you just took her money and didn't even cancel it? Have you lost your mind? You really have gone too far now. If you say you'll marry me, all these problems will be solved, won't they? All I would have to do is change the first name of the bride and everything would be sorted. Why is that so difficult for you? I don't want to marry you. How many times do I have to tell you that? How would you possibly think that I'd suddenly marry you when I don't even really know you? Just so that you wouldn't have to cancel the wedding. Surely you can see how ridiculous it sounds and what a bad idea it would be. You better hurry up and cancel the wedding venue for a start. If you don't want to pay an even higher cancellation fee, that is. I can just marry you. Why don't you understand that? You and Liz are the same size as well. Even the dress would fit. I don't understand what's so difficult about what I'm asking you. I really don't want to marry you. That's the problem. You're the one that needs to understand what I'm saying, not the other way around. Get lost before I call the police. I've really had enough of you and your ridiculous requests now. The police? You don't seem to understand what I'm saying, so I'm just going to call the police to get rid of you for me. Why would you call the police over something silly like this? I think it would be a good idea for you not to mess with me. I'm going to go now but I think it would be in your best interest to give me an answer sooner rather than later. Hey, Liz, are you busy? Do you have time to chat with me for a bit? There's something I need to talk to you about. No, I'm not busy, and I can always make time to talk to you. You are my little sister, after all. I've just finished work, actually. Has something happened? You sound a bit strange. Can you please tell me the real reason that you called off the wedding? What? I told you before, we just weren't right for each other. That's all. Stop lying to me now, Liz. I think I really need to hear the truth from you now. I just don't want to talk about it or even think about it ever again. That's all. Marcus kept appearing at our place for the last few days. He was looking for you. Then when he realized that you weren't there and I told him that you don't live with us anymore, he told me to marry him instead of you and that if I didn't, that he was going to get compensation from you, me, or our parents. He doesn't care who. I'm really scared. That's why I'm asking. He just won't leave me alone. I can't tell mom and dad. He doesn't seem scared of the police, and to be honest, I don't know what they could do anyway. I didn't know who else to turn to. Can't you just tell me why you called off the wedding? What? That jerk said those things to you? Yes. He's been saying the same things for a few days now. He keeps telling me to give him an answer, but when I tell him my answer is no, he just kind of ignores it. After listening to him, I think I can kind of understand why you called off the wedding. When he was talking, it was like he didn't make sense, but wouldn't listen to reason. 
He said that I should just be grateful that he was willing to marry me, and that if I didn't, he was going to get compensation from you. What on earth happened between the two of you? You didn't just call things off nicely, did you? I'm really sorry you've had to go through all of that, Jane. I thought that if I just left home and he couldn't find me, everything would be fine. But obviously, that's not the case. What happened? Please, tell me. I really need to understand why he is acting in this way towards me when he's always been perfectly nice and kind for all the years we've met. Okay, I'll tell you. I guess I don't really have a choice now. Do mom and dad know what he's been doing by any chance? No, I didn't tell them. I was worried that if I did, they'd race over to his house, you see. I purposely kept it quiet from them, but Mark also somehow disappeared when it was time for mom and dad to get home. I guess he knows what mom's like and was scared of what she'd do to him if she caught him. That's lucky at least. I only want you to know this. You have to keep it to yourself. I don't want you to tell mom and dad, because we both know how they would react if they found out about any of this. Okay, Liz. I'll keep it to myself. I promise. The truth is that while we were in the middle of getting everything ready for our wedding, I found out that he'd been cheating on me, you see. What? He was cheating? Yes, he was cheating on me with much younger girls, around your age they must have been. He was meeting them with no strings. I found so much evidence of what he had been doing behind my back. To be honest, I really couldn't understand how I hadn't noticed earlier. I was really angry with myself for trusting him and wasting that much time, energy, and money on such a jerk. He's insane! What did you do? Did you confront him about it? Yes, of course. I looked him right in the eyes and asked him what he'd been doing and why he'd been acting that way. And his answer was really something, you know. What did he say? He said that he'd always liked young girls and that I was lucky that he was planning to marry someone old like me. He's older than me, as you know. He really is shameless, isn't he? What on earth does any of that mean? It doesn't make sense. Right? He was seeing girls that were more than 12 years younger than him and just told me like that with no shame at all. He said that I had a good body and was making a lot of money for my age, so that's why he had decided to marry me. If he was going to get married, that it made sense for him to marry someone in a stable job like I was. That's what he told me when I confronted him anyway. He made me feel really awful, you know. Is that why you called off the wedding then? Yes, it was. You can't possibly marry someone that has cheated now, can you? If they cheat while you're preparing to marry, it's inevitable that they would cheat again. When I told him that I wanted to break off the engagement, he said that he could just mess around like this up to the wedding and that he wouldn't do it after we were married. How could I possibly trust someone who said crazy things like that? So in the end, he was dumped by you then. So a moron like that then came up to me and said that he would marry me like he was doing me a favor or something? Why did you end up changing jobs and moving out though, Liz? I had actually been planning to change jobs for some time, but that jerk did have a part to play in it all as well. What did he do? He kept waiting for me to come out of work and following me home, and he ended up making a huge fuss right in front of my old workplace. I was thinking of leaving anyway so it wasn't that big a deal. But he was really scaring me, so I left a bit sooner than I had originally planned to. I was scared of what he'd do, but it was also really embarrassing for me when all my coworkers found out what was going on. I thought that if I didn't live with you all anymore that he wouldn't go to the house and cause trouble. But it seems I was wrong on that count. Liz, if he was doing all of this to you, you should have just told me in the beginning. I just didn't want to worry you about me, that's all. I also didn't want you to get caught up in this whole sorry mess, but it seems like I failed on that account. You were all worried enough when I said that I had called off the wedding. If I had told you how it had ended and that he was stalking me and causing trouble like that, you would have all gone crazy. That's why I just decided to ignore it all. In the end, he got to you as well. I'm really sorry about that, you know. Oh, I see why you did what you did now. It all must have been so hard for you to cope with especially alone. What are you going to do now? I think it would probably be best to go and report him to the police, you know. I was thinking of that, but apparently he hasn't done anything that's illegal. Him just waiting outside our house like that doesn't count as stalking, and it's not like he's broken in or anything, is it? They'll just tell us to ignore him, it seems. What? How could the police not take that kind of thing seriously? 
That's exactly what I was wondering. Anyway, don't worry about him anymore, Liz. I'm going to sort it all out for you. Do you think that you can? If you don't think you can do it, let me know and I'll do it. You moved out and changed jobs because you couldn't stop him, didn't you? I really don't think he's normal. There's definitely something strange about him. If he sees you, who knows what he might do. He seems like he could turn dangerous, so I will sort everything out and let you know when it's done. After listening carefully to what Liz was saying, I finally realized why Mark was acting the way that he was. It wasn't because he was a kind person or because he loved Liz. Nothing like that. It was because he was a perverted stalker who was trying to keep a hold on my sister. He couldn't accept the fact that he had been dumped by Liz and was basically having a tantrum about it. The whole situation was completely ridiculous. He was the one who caused Liz to call off the wedding by cheating on her with young girls, but he didn't seem to be able to accept that he had been dumped. He was the biggest loser ever. Oh, you really are living the life, aren't you? Being stopped and everything. Hey, do you think this is funny? It's all driving me mad. That's why I said I'd walk you home, isn't it? If I see him hanging around your house or if he tries to talk to you or anything, I'll call the police right away. You said that keeps him away for a while, didn't you? Well, it does for a day or two, I guess. Then he's back again. Not even the police seem to be able to keep him away. I really don't know what else I can do. I can't exactly report him every day, can I? I think even the police are getting fed up with me reporting him now. That's true. There are so many strange people around these days, aren't there? Liz's ex is really strange too, isn't he? He's a bit... unhinged? Even if you ignore the fact that he was cheating on her with girls that were nearly half his age while they were getting things ready to get married, he asked you to marry him after your sister called off the wedding, didn't he? And threatened that he would get compensation from Liz if you didn't marry him. Right? There really must be something wrong with him to act like that. It's all so frustrating, you know? Can't you just tell your parents what's going on? No way! They'd go mad! The police would probably be taking my parents away instead. Mom and Dad would kill him. Your mom is amazing. She must love the two of you so much, you know. She just knows how to look after herself, let's say. Anyway, even if I just tell Dad, there's no guarantee that Mom won't find out as well, so there's no one else that I can tell. You said that that jerk only liked young girls, didn't you? He said that he would marry you because you were young, didn't he? Yes, he did. That makes it all even more disgusting. He's in his late 30s. Why would he possibly want to meet girls that were over 12 years younger than him? That's nearly half his age. Ugh, it's just really gross. I've just thought of a really great way to get rid of him. Do you want to try it? What are you thinking of doing? I'm willing to try anything to try and stop him bothering my family like he has been doing. You know that I've got a big brother, don't you? He goes to the same college as us. Of course they know your brother. He doesn't come to college much these days, does he? I think I heard that he'd started his own business or something like that. I'll explain everything to him. The next time that jerk shows up. Look, what are you doing here? You really have no shame. How could you just turn up outside my college like this? If I wait outside your house, you call the police, don't you? So I thought that I'd try here instead. There's no reason for you to call them here now, is there? Let's finish this once and for all. Will you marry me? Or are you going to give me compensation? Hey, you jerk! You know if you keep on like this, I could have you for defamation of character, don't you? Then you'll be the one having to pay compensation, and you might even end up locked up. Locked up? Why on earth would that happen? Are you going to take me down to the police station over this, is that it? You really are talking rubbish. You're the one that's going to have to pay me compensation, you know. You're the one that's going to be embarrassed, too, when I start causing a fuss here outside your college. If you don't want to see me do that, you better answer whether you are going to marry me or pay me. It has to be one or the other. Oh, my. I don't think I have a choice. I'm going to have to use my trump card. Oh, hey, Jane. What are you doing here? Oh, Dave, hi. 
Wow, amazing timing. I've only just this second message Jess, too. What? Dave? Who's this loser, then? I don't know if he's been told about this properly yet. Is it okay to just act like this towards him suddenly? He'll be so surprised if Jess hasn't explained the plan to him or if he hasn't agreed to it yet. Oh, I don't know. I guess I'll just have to go for it and explain later if I have to. He's my boyfriend. What? Your boyfriend? You didn't have a boyfriend, did you? I've been stopping by your house regularly for years now. Do you think I wouldn't know? She's not lying. I'm her boyfriend, just as she said. We've been seeing each other in secret, you see. You know what my mom's like, after all. I just thought she'd go on about me still being a student and that I should concentrate on my studies, not boys. And I didn't want to have to deal with it, you see. That's why we decided to see each other in secret. If you weren't annoying me and following me around so much, it might not have come to this. What? Annoying you? How dare you? It's true. You've been annoying me. I told you I didn't want to marry you, but you keep following me around asking me again and again. Don't you think you're being a bit ridiculous now? Why do I have to marry an old man like you? What? Old man? Yes, that's what you are, isn't it? Especially when compared to me. You're in your late 30s, aren't you? You're more than 12 years older than me, after all. Why? Does me calling you an old man make you angry, old man? Old man. Stop it! Be quiet! You might like young girls, but what makes you think that I'd like an old man like you? It's not like you're holding a gun to my head or anything. What makes you think that I'd want to marry an old man like you with no good points about him whatsoever? Age isn't all that's important when it comes to choosing a man, you know. Girls get old really quickly, but older men have a lot more going for them. Charm, money, things like that. You better pull yourself together. You might like a young boy like that now, but I'm sure that you'll feel different as you get older. Girls are happiest when they marry a man who is stable and makes good money, you know. Dave comes out top on that front as well. He's much better than you are anyway. Do you make a lot of money? I know from Liz that you don't really. What? I work for a medium-sized company, and I've been at the same place for quite a few years now as well. I have experience, and my salary is pretty good, actually. You don't even earn $35,000 a year, do you? To be honest, when Liz told me that you worked for the same place for so long but were making so little, I couldn't really understand. You aren't even a team leader yet, though, are you? You can't be very good at getting promoted. Enough! Dave owns his own business, you know. He's in a different league to an old man like you. Don't be ridiculous. He's not much older than you. It's obvious that he's still a student. How can he possibly own his own business? Oh, I guess you don't know how colleges work these days, do you? I'm in the College of Engineering, you see, and I've got a startup grant from the school and have started a business with a few of my friends. It's doing quite well at the moment. We made a new program not long ago and have gained a lot of new investors from it. It's looking like we'll be getting a prize soon as well. What? You call that a business? Every man and his dog are doing things like that these days, aren't they? How can a student start a business anyway? It's a lot better than rotting in a dead-end job without getting promoted like you are, though, don't you think? We'll be off now. If I ever see you here or outside my girlfriend's house again, I'm not going to be held responsible for my actions. Understood. You creep! Thank you so much for helping me out like this, Dave. I'd only just that second sent the message to Jess, so I was a bit worried that you didn't know what was going on. But you were a great actor as well. Nah, I was nothing. You don't have to thank me. I heard a bit about what was happening yesterday, but I didn't realize I'd bump into him on the way home like this. Oh, was it just a coincidence that you happened to be passing just at the right moment then? Yes, it was. Wow, that's amazing. It was really great timing, you know. If you had been a second later, he would have started to really annoy me again. That's really lucky then, isn't it? Seeing as we've met like this, would you like to go to lunch with me? I quite fancied some risotto, so I was just finding a place that sold it when I met you. Oh, that sounds great! I know a great place just around the corner. I'll buy you lunch as a thank you for helping me out like that. You're a student. How do you have the money for that? I'll get it for you. All you have to do is to eat it.
I knew that that jerk was out of his mind, but I didn't realize that he'd go as far as to wait outside college for you. Right? I don't know what would have happened if Dave hadn't have appeared when he did. That's true. I never thought for one minute that all of this would lead to you getting a boyfriend, though. I wouldn't have even dreamt it, in fact. We were talking over lunch that day, and we just clicked. He was so easy to talk to. I told him that I'd heard a lot about him from Jess, and listening to what Jess has said, too, he'd been interested in me for quite a while. He couldn't say anything before as I was still a high school student, you see, but he used that opportunity to talk to me and get to know me a bit better. Are you bragging about how popular you are now or something? I can't even find the courage to date anymore and I'm just drowning in my work over here. You need to rest too, you know. What's the point in making all of that money if you have no time to enjoy it? You even work weekends these days. When do you have the chance to meet people and have fun? It's exciting to see how much I get paid at the end of the month, though, you know? Oh, while I'm thinking about it, there was something that I wanted to tell you. Oh, really? What is it? Apparently, Mark's reputation at work has hit rock bottom, you know. What? What do you mean it's hit rock bottom? There are rumors of him being spread all around his workplace, apparently. Oh, really? They have found out that we aren't getting married. Oh, I see. You remember that he made a scene outside my workplace before, don't you? Someone from his workplace must have seen all of that, and now everyone knows everything that's happened from the two of us breaking up to him making a scene. It's a small world, isn't it? If he just told them that we'd broken up, they would have probably not thought anything of it. But because he asked for money, wouldn't let me break up with him and cause chaos at someone else's workplace, everyone thinks really badly of him now. It's all of his own doing, then. It is indeed. It would have been a bit better if it had stopped there. But... What else happened? As soon as the rumor of our breakup spread, someone reported him to HR. Apparently, he had been sexually harassing and pestering young female members of staff. It seems like it wasn't just one or two women either. A lot of women in their early 20s came forward and said similar things. Oh, I did wonder what he was like at work, to tell you the truth. He really is that kind of a person, then. There's been a disciplinary hearing, but he wouldn't accept the voluntary resignation, so they've taken away his desk and he is doing his work standing in the corridor, apparently. What? They didn't dismiss him, then? Is that not a firing offense? Voluntary resignation? Why isn't he leaving, then? I think he's staying because it's quite a well-known company, and he can't quit because he is in a lot of debt as well. What? Where has that suddenly come from? You know that he didn't cancel the wedding venue, don't you? Well, in the end, he waited and waited without canceling it and got left with a huge cancellation charge. He also has to pay off all of those girls from his workplace, too. They say that he has accumulated an awful lot of debt. That's why he can't afford to quit his job, you see. He begged for them to let him stay. Apparently, they've made it so his debt repayments get deducted straight from his wages. The company have stopped at the voluntary resignation, but they aren't giving him any work to do and just making him sit in the corridor looking at the wall like a naughty school kid. They said that if he leaves his seat, they will dismiss him straight away. It seems like he's paying the price for his actions anyway. I didn't realize they could do things like that at work. It's like punishing a naughty child. Surely he won't be able to last very long like that. Oh, I almost forgot. You said that you were going on a date with Dave, didn't you? What? Oh, yes. Is that the time already? Liz, I'd better go. Okay. Have a great time. Even though a few months have passed since Liz broke things off with Mark, she still isn't dating. I guess dating someone for so long and having them turn out to be that kind of person would cause you to lose your trust in people. How couldn't it? Still, seeing as Liz is so smart and pretty, I'm sure she'll find someone good soon. Oh, yes, I have some good news. My relationship with the guy who pretended to be my boyfriend for me, Dave, is going really well. To start with, it felt a bit awkward, as he had a lot of money and is running his own business. However, he is one of my best friend's brothers, and I have known him since I was very young, and he knows how to look after himself, so I soon got over that awkwardness. My friend gave us her blessing and egged us on, so we are still going great together. Not long after, I heard through Liz about Mark's situation. It seems that even though it didn't look like he would quit when his superiors made him stay in the corridor all day facing the wall, that he finally quit and has since disappeared off the face of the planet.
Oh, they've really moved his desk out to the corridor. Yes, they have. I told you the rumors about him must have been true. What? About him getting hit around the head on his way home and being hospitalized? Yes, apparently he was walking through an alleyway at night, and he was smashed around the back of the head. They haven't been able to find who did it. There's no CCTV, and it's a really quiet area, you see. It was punishment for all the things that he had done, I guess. He should have stayed to well-lit areas in the daytime, shouldn't he? He really was brave going to somewhere like that after all the things that he had done. He really should have. He harassed all the girls at work, after all, didn't he? He called me a few times, too, if I'm honest. What? He was pestering you as well. He kept calling me when I was about to go to sleep. It must have been around midnight. At first, I thought that something had happened to work and answered his calls, but he just kept asking me to date him, have dinner, go to the movies, things like that. I said before that I hadn't got my driving license yet and that I'd have to do it, didn't I? Yes, you did. I remember that. Well, I don't know where he heard that, but he said that if I went out with him, he'd give me the money to pass my driving test. What happened then? What do you mean what happened? Can't you guess? I told him that I didn't want to, of course. I have a boyfriend too, don't I? Even though he knew I was getting married, he called me and asked me to mess around with him up to my wedding day. He called you as well? My fiancé said that he was going to kill him, and I had a really hard time stopping him. My boyfriend was the same when I told him about the phone calls. Well, I guess what happened to him probably wasn't an accident then, was it? Do you think that... I did too, you know. Shh. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to see more content.